Both the setups in these cases are very, very good, as we said. Both of the takeaways in these cases are very, very good. Okay, as you practice things, okay? So nothing really in those two movements there. You say, oh, that looks much different there, okay? However, we discussed about the sort of tracking of where your hand position needs to go. We need your hands to be coming down and staying longer and lower to impact rather than coming down and going whoosh over the side. And this move on the left hand side is very indicative to someone who wants the ball up in the air. You want to hit the ball up in the air and hit it nice and high. That's what everyone tries to do when they first play golf. Because everyone's hit golf balls and they was on the ground. And they go, I want the ball up in the air. And then what might happen is they might play one or two shots off a tee peg, which cheats a little bit. They can scoop it up in the air. Or the ball's sat on a nice bit of grass in the rough and the ball's sat up like a mushroom. And they go, whoosh, they go, I've cracked it. And the next five shots they top on the ground. Okay, So if you look at your left hand swing here now as you come back to the golf ball, a bit of leaning back into trying under it. Hand movement through the golf ball, up very quickly, results in a top shot. Okay, as we said, looking from here, we see that triangle you've maintained. Clear all that. As we come back down, still got that triangle there, and we still maintained it, you can see, really nicely there. The other benefit when we swing then to the golf ball, we set up to it again. Same good back swing. <coughs> Excuse me. Same good backswing as we're coming back to the golf. Now, even when the ball is there, we still maintained fabulous strike. Look at your triangle, look at your hand movement now for impact. Your hand's there. Look at that, you see the difference in that compared to mm. <laughs> that. That's a real, like, scoopy scoopy. Mm. All arms collapsed and folded. Look at that. Hence why I said, I didn't mean to be weird, but because that was a very quick change. Lit, I was like, I'm going to say a light bulb, quick, dum dum, change. Click your fingers and you made one change from there. And I think a lot of that comes from you just saw what you looked like and didn't realise that's what it looked like <laughs> in your head. And then sometimes, like, visually seeing something, you go, oh, hang on a minute, I don't feel like I'm doing that, but okay, to do less of that, my hands are going to therefore be lower than what I think they need to be, which results then in that kind of shot. And then when you finish the old club through, you can relax and let the arms fold over this way. I'd rather you be here in that position and focus more on maintaining that triangle we said at the start, and then you can let the club eventually fold over your left shoulder as you get comfortable with that position. So, does that make sense? Mm. Yeah, simple enough then, okay? So, tracking those hands as you come to impact. <coughs> Excuse me again. You see it, it? it does yeah. help. I think yeah. seeing it, like I say, if you can see what is <coughs> going wrong. <coughs> Excuse me again. You can kind of then, okay, right, I need to then visualise in my head, okay, that's what I'm doing, but that doesn't feel like I'm doing. I need to get this way more. Hands get longer and lower. Okay?